Good morning. Sorry we are starting a few minutes late. A few technical difficulties with getting the PowerPoint to open and then, and then my internet was taking its time. It's not a morning person, I guess. Morning internet, I should say. So I'm going to share my screen with you because I really want you to see. I'm just going to have you, I want you to be able to see my whole desktop. So here we go. Close out this. Close out that. I have so much open. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So here's the PowerPoint. Finding builders, not the right one. You guys, I'm a, we're getting there. Oh my goodness. Hey, Rich, can you help me find where this PowerPoint is? Oh, here we go. I think it threw me off that I actually had things done ahead of time. I don't know how to handle stuff done ahead of time. It throws me off. So anyway, okay. I am super excited. You know, Richard and I were talking about, you know, possibly doing another silver and above retreat. And, you know, I just felt like I wanted to do something different. And as you guys know, we love to travel. You'll see that we are all over the world, all over the time. And I love to visit new places. A lot of it is because I really struggle with ADHD and I have to have stuff to do. I have to constant stimulation or I start going crazy and I start really struggling with my anxiety. So traveling is my thing. Love it. Love to be able to travel and go places. My favorite place in the world is Costa Rica. And that says a lot because I have been to a lot of different places in the world. So I thought, you know, man, what is it something we could do so that we could go to Costa Rica with our team and make it super affordable or even free for them? So I got really, really excited about it. And we went to Costa Rica this last week and I looked at a resort and I thought, you know what, we can totally pull this off. So I want to show you what I discovered when I was there this last week and how you can come to Costa Rica with me on, I'm going to close this down so I can see better, on a Monday, April 30th through Friday, May 4th, we're going to go to Costa Rica. So this is me on the beach right outside of the resort that we will be renting. And I am very, very excited about it. Costa Rica has the best beaches. I love them. They're clean. Like the sand is amazing. There's not like this ocean junk all over it. It's warm. You can get in the water. The waves are incredible. So if you like to surf or go boogie boarding, it's totally perfect. But it's also like this perfect mix of jungle as well. So I love Costa Rica. And I will be honest, part of the reason I decided to even go to the Costa Rica for the first time was because Cheyenne, who is a diamond on my team, went and loved it. So I'm going to unmute Cheyenne for just a minute, and she is going to tell me what she loves about Costa Rica. And you guys, I am so sorry it's so loud. I can't get my internet to work anywhere else in my house except my kitchen, so you'll have to bear with the noise. If it gets too bad, just let me know, and I will try to figure something else out. But Cheyenne, take it away. Hello, can you guys hear me? Can you hear me, Jen? Oh, I can hardly hear you. Can you barely hear me? Oh, I can hear you. Okay. So it's kind of funny when Jen and I were talking about getting this, doing this trip, we were throwing around ideas and we're like, where do we want to go? And both of us, we almost had a jinx because we're like Costa Rica at the same time. It was so funny. Uh, but Costa Rica is absolutely amazing. Uh, it has a perfect mix of beaches and mountains. Uh, it's very mountains, mountainous. It's uh, a rainforest. And so the animal life is incredible. There's monkeys. There's, tua there's tuacons. There's, I mean, almost any kind of animal you can imagine. It's just absolutely beautiful. And just the sounds, you just hear them all in the rainforest. So there's a rainforest aspect, which also has tons of waterfalls. Um, and then you've got the beach and the beaches in Costa Rica are like none you've ever seen. They, for the most part, they are very, it's very non-commercial. And so a lot of the beaches, you'll go to a beach and there will be very, very few people out there. It's not like most beaches you go to and you're tripping over people, you know, trying to find a place to put your towel. It's like, there's just, there's, it's just beach. It's beautiful. And then you have the mountains in the background that just, it's amazing. It's one of the prettiest places I've ever been in my entire life. And like Jen, I love to travel. Um, my husband and I and our three kids actually live in a fifth world traveling the country because we love it so much. And so um, this is just one of the top places on my list all the time. It's a place I'll go back to over and over and over again. And I'm super excited to share it with you guys.
That's awesome. That's how I feel. And in fact, Richard and I are actually looking at condos in Costa Rica. We're like, how can we make this work so we can, we can live there full time? Well, not full time, but just, you know, we can, we can live there a decent portion of the year. Let's, so let's I found, talk. Let's I talk. found this resort and it's called the Bahia del Sol. And here's what I love about this resort. It is a small resort. There's 35 rooms total in the hotel. So it's not like this big giant thing where you're trying to, you know, get to everybody and can't, you know, can't find your friends because they're, you know, a quarter mile away from you. It's a nice small boutique hotel and it's absolutely gorgeous. So, you know, anytime you look on the internet and you look at pictures, you can count on, you know, maybe it not looking as nice because it never does. Well, I decided to go and take a look for myself because it happened to be literally two doors down from the place I was staying. I was staying at a private condo and I was impressed. So I'm going to show you real quick. The, I'm going to take you directly to the website and we are going to look at the gallery of the hotel. So this is the Bahia del Sol. And come on, here we go. Okay, so you'll notice that the, it is, it's just lush and green in Costa Rica. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. So they've got, this is actually, they have an outdoor restaurant and we will be doing our farewell dinner there the last night um, at this outdoor restaurant. And it's, it's just gorgeous. You actually can see the beach from the restaurant. So this is a picture of one of the rooms. They have a few different types of rooms, and this is totally not in any order. But this is the beach that you see right from the, the resort, which is, which is gorgeous. There is free yoga every single day. So they have free yoga overlooking the ocean. So that's a fun thing that you guys will be able to look forward to. Again, just beautiful beach scenery. This is their swimming pool. So they have a swim-up bar right here. And it's, they've got a hot tub right here, but they've got this, this beautiful pool. And what I'm excited about is that we will be most, I think there are, we've rented all but eight rooms. Now we'll keep all those rooms as long as you guys win the trip and we have, we're going to go up regardless, but I'd like to have as many of you possible there. So we can take over the resort, which will be, which will be great. So there will be eight rooms outside of us. And that will be great opportunities for you guys to sign up people in on your team for those eight unsuspecting guests who don't know what doTERRA is. So again, we have, we'll have a dinner that overlooks the beach. The rooms are all really nice. I absolutely loved the rooms. That was like a big thing for me. Um, picture of their restaurant again. I was hoping they would have, they'll have a picture. So they also have, if you want to get married on the beach while you're there, you can definitely do that. But they have a spa at the resort as well. So it's, it's gorgeous. Just some fun yoga pictures, pictures of the rooms. They have different types of rooms. There's some rooms where there's two bedrooms in a room. There's rooms where there's, uh, but all the rooms are good. Like there's not a single bad room. You know, I, I, every single room I was like, wow, I didn't look through every room, but I mean, there was not a room where you're like, oh, they get the bad view. Like, everything is awesome. So they have this really great spa there. And it's just lush green and you're walking on these pathways and it's just like you're in paradise. And like Cheyenne said, you do see amazing wildlife when you are in Costa Rica. So, you know, everything that you go and see at the zoo is what you actually see in real life in Costa Rica. So I was there doing kind of a jungle cruise last week, um, a, 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 a cruise through a, a tour through, through a rainforest and I would see toucans, I would see macaws. In fact, I saw a macaw family, like those big, beautiful red birds just flying overhead. Like I've only ever seen those in the zoo. So I'm like, this is amazing. I love this. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about the resort that we'll be at, which, which I love. So it's fun because there are restaurants, like you can eat at the restaurant on site, but you're in walking distance to other restaurants. Now I know a lot of people will tell you that and you're like, okay, yeah, if you want to walk for 15 minutes, like seriously, you walk outside of the parking lot and you can see, uh, there's a restaurant called Perla's. There's a restaurant. Uh, we actually went and ate, of them, ate at one of them. I could see the Bahia del Sol from the restaurant I was at. So you can walk everywhere, which is great. So you'll have a free breakfast every day. There's daily yoga classes for free. There's a spa there. Um, so it's incredible. So again, here's just two of my favorite pictures of the resort. This was a picture that Richard himself took. They were doing some cleanup after um, some of the storms they've had this year. But um, yeah, this is Richard's picture from his own camera. So you can see that the the camera doesn't lie. So one of the fun things that I love about Costa Rica is I have an amazing tour guide named Javier. I love Javier because he is a native Costa Rican or they call them Ticos when you're in Costa Rica. That's like the local people. But um, he has a college degree and he's like a wildlife tour guide. So he knows a lot about plants and animals and he'll take us around and he'll show us like he'll explain what the different animals are. He'll explain what the plants are. He knows the area. It's really great. And here's what's cool about him. 
he will take us automatically included in the price of the trip is a jungle cruise. This was my favorite cruise that I went on when I went. I actually did it two years ago when I went and I did it when I was pregnant. So it's safe for anybody to go on. And he literally pulled us up to a, a little group of white faced monkeys and they came on our boat and we were feeding them plantains. So they were literally, you know, walking, we were holding them, we were feeding them. It was absolutely incredible. You know, when, and the reason I call it a jungle cruise is if any of you guys have ever been to Disneyland, you have seen like the, the jungle cruise, they take you on where you see animals and you're like, oh, it's nice, but they're fake. Well, this, you see real crocodiles, you'll see huge iguanas, you'll see big lizards, you'll see monkeys, you'll see beautiful birds. Um, it's, it's amazing. You're like, this is like the jungle cruise, except it's real. And then he takes you to a really fun lunch. We went to a restaurant that is run by some women in Costa Rica who are all single moms and they got a grant to start a business and they literally cook over like a wood burning stove. Like they'll put the wood into the fireplace, put the metal lid back on and they'll cook you your lunch and it's really great food. So that's another thing I wanted to assure you of. And part of the reason I love Costa Rica so much is I've been to many countries where you're like, okay, is it safe to brush my teeth using this tap water or am I gonna get some sort of horrible sickness? Costa Rica is very safe and it's very clean. So like the water, when you're drinking the water, you don't have, you can drink tap water. That's not a problem. You can eat the food. You don't have to stress about that as much. Um, the part of Costa Rica that we're going to, there is like hardly any crime. We are going to be flying into Liberia. Looks like Liberia, but it's Liberia. And it's just very, it's just a very, very safe place, which is why I love it. So I've taken my kids there before. Um, and I don't, and I went when I was pregnant because I wasn't worried about, okay, am I going to get some sort, sort of horrible illness? So Love, love that aspect. And this, everyone's going to do the jungle cruise. That is his absolute, that's his most popular tour. So he rents a boat, we go out on it. We just explore the wonderful wildlife. Getting to see monkeys is super fun. So one thing he's going to do is every day he will have an excursion that if you would like to buy into it and pay for that excursion, you, you can, um, you can do that. So if you want to do like, and here's, we're going to offer three options and these will be at an additional charge if you want to add them on if you want to just enjoy the beach you can do that too but we did a yacht excursion where we went out on a yacht and they had food they had drinks uh, we don't drink alcohol but that is on there complimentary on the on the yacht and then we there's snorkeling so you go out and, and you snorkel and it's 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 beautiful so this is sadie and this is a sunset that we saw while we were on the yacht so it was incredible the next one is the the mud fall the mud bath volcano waterfall hike this is actually my favorite thing aside from the jungle cruise that I loved. We did this on Thursday when we were there and it was amazing. We, the waterfalls were gorgeous. And what I love is everything is warm. So you're not freezing when you go on these excursions and this is a hanging bridge. And yes, I thought I was going to die going on it, but it's, it's actually very safe. Costa Rica is actually very strict with the regulations and they come and they check your ropes and your cables. And if you want to stay in business. So even though it looked scary, it was, it was good. Um, but it was, a, it was just a gorgeous hike. And then I don't have the picture of the mud baths, but I literally gave myself a facial with volcanic mud and I had it rubbed over my body and it's so good for your, for your skin. So this is again, like if you're thinking, oh man, I wouldn't mind exploring Costa Rica a little bit more, you're welcome to pay an additional fee, uh, ca uh, charge or additional amount and you can go on these. Caviar will have them every day. So if you're wondering, okay, so how do I earn this trip for free? I want to do this for free. Here is what we're gonna do. We are keeping it very, very simple. Honestly, you're gonna get points for enrolling, getting people on LRP and rank advancements. That is how simple we are keeping it. You know, obviously I recommend doing the Emerge training because that's gonna help tremendously with getting enrollments. And joining in, we're going to be doing a weekly meeting in a private Facebook group. And I would really encourage you to be on. And, and also so that we can have fun together as a group, and it's, you know, like if you ever go to convention and you meet people that you've been chatting with online, it's always fun to see them in person. I want to create that same experience for Costa Rica that you've been talking to these people. You've been seeing them in your meetings and now we get to go ex to have an amazing vacation together. So we will have a weekly call that we do just based in our group. Um, and then I would recommend that you're doing the, the Facebook emerged or the emerged training. Okay. So we are offering one grand prize. Now, again, you guys, this is very exclusive so that I would ask, please don't ask other people if they've been invited to attend this or please don't ask if they're coming because we kept this exclusive for a couple of reasons. First of all, I wanted to keep it to be a small group. The other reason we did it is, you know, it is coming out of our pockets. And as, as much as I wish I could afford to take my entire team to Costa Rica, 
Uh, that's just not quite in my budget, but I can definitely help carve out a big chunk of it, you know, to help people be able to get there. So please be careful in, you know, asking other people if they're going and, and keep this within our group because I want to make sure we don't want to have hurt feelings and we want to keep this a fun, a fun and exclusive thing. So if you are the grand prize winner, you will get a four night stay at the Bahia del Sol for you and a guest. So it'll be double occupancy, meaning you like you and your guest will share a room together. Um, you'll, you'll, you'll have one room that you'll share. So I'm assuming if you win, you'll bring your spouse, whatever you'll be, you'll be sharing your room with just your spouse, which is awesome. It will include transfers to and from the airport. Again, I have worked out Javier is going to be taking us to and from the airport. And that is, it's nice. You don't want to rent a car in Costa Rica if you can avoid it. It's the, the car rentals are super cheap. The insurance is insanely expensive. I think we spent $700. I think 500 or 600 of that was the actual car insurance. So I made it so that you don't have to rent a car to, to keep costs minimal. And Javier will take you wherever you want to go and the transfers. So basically grand prize, your transfers are included. We'll have that farewell dinner on the beach, um, a jungle cruise, and then we will give you an airfare voucher for you and your guests to fly to Costa Rica. So I'm giving out one of these. This will be the grand prize winner. Now you can win first place. I have this limited to five people. And this, again, it's going to include your four night stay at the Bahia del Sol, double occupancy. I've worked it out that um, what we're working really hard is there will not be two more, more than two people to a room unless it's the double suite. And then there will be three people in a room, but there's two separate bedrooms. One has two beds, one has a king bed. So you will not be crammed into a room with tons of people. The most that you would ever share a room with would be one other person. And we're working really hard to have it so that you each have your own bed. Again, be patient with us. I don't want, you know, I want this to be a really good experience. I don't want, you know, and I'll just be honest. There's times I've done gifts for people and they've yelled at me because it took them a little bit longer to get it or whatever. So keep this positive for us. We're working our best. If I tell you that I will pay for your hotel room, I totally will. Um, but be patient with us if, you know, if you do have to share a room with somebody, you know, something like that, just be patient. So this will be a good experience. But I can promise you, that you will not have to share with more than one person. And we, and we should have it, should, where you're not ever sharing a bed. Unless you're bringing your spouse and you wanna share a bed. <laughs> but we, we have it so that you should have your own room uh, with one other person sharing, you know, not sharing a bed. So again, first place will include the farewell dinner on the beach, the jungle cruise, and then a $300 airfare voucher to get to Liberia. And I have five of those spots open. Second place. This is a four night stay on the beach, double occupancy again, farewell dinner and a jungle cruise. So this is the exact same as the other one, except the, the, the airfare you will, you will be covering on your own. So basically, if you get second place, you're coming to Costa Rica, all you will pay for is airfare and a few of your meals, which Costa Rica, the food is really, really cheap. <laughs> That's all you'd pay for. And we automatically are paying for one dinner and then all the breakfasts are covered. So it would be very inexpensive. And one of the lunches is covered by Javier. So you'd be covering for just a, a couple of your meals. Third place is a four night stay again, farewell dinner, jungle cruise, and it's the exact same as second place, but you will need to pay for a portion of your trip at 250 bucks. So if you get third place, you come up with 250 bucks, you're welcome to come, to come with us. So um, really excited. We have different prize options so that I don't want people feeling like, oh man, I can't come if I don't get this first place. You totally can and we're making it super affordable. Can you bring a spouse or a friend? Depending on the availability, yes. Um, they will need to come at additional cost. It would cost them $500. So let's say you win the trip, you win first place, um, or even second place, you win the week for free, you wanna bring your spouse, you're welcome to bring them, it will cost $500, and that will include their cruise, the dinner, the room, um, everything like that. So, and that will depend on availability, but we should be good. I have openings for 66 people. Um, well, it's not 66 rooms, but it's 66 people. So I'm assuming that there will definitely be room to bring like a spouse or a friend. If you wanted to bring one of your kids, that's just fine, but you will need to pay for that, that extra person. Okay, so you wanna do it. What's next? So my assistant is going to be posting a form shortly after this call, and you need to apply. I will accept pretty much everybody. Basically, as long as you're on the team of either Stephanie Brown, Julie Driggs or um, Cheyenne is doing hers a little bit differently, but you know, somewhere under Cheyenne, you can apply. Now, I want to make sure that you are committed to doing this. 
What I don't want is I'm, cause I'm going to be putting you, as soon as you apply, I'm going to be putting you in our secret Facebook group. I don't want people in there that you're like, are they doing this? Are they, are they going for this or not? Like if you commit to do this, that doesn't mean you have to earn it. It just means you're trying your best. I just don't want people who I never see and who aren't really trying and who don't really want to be there. So um, if you're committed to really working to make this happen, <clears throat> we would love to have you along. You need to be doing your 100 PV a month, absolutely no exceptions. I love you guys. I am not taking you to Costa Rica if you're not even willing to do your LRP. <laughs> so make sure you're doing your $100, 100 PV a month. Plus, you know, you're going to be getting enrollments. You want to make sure you're getting paid. Um, if you feel like you have someone on your team that this would really help to get them there so that you're hitting your goals, you're welcome to ask either myself or if you're on Cheyenne's team um, about including other builders on your team. Um, so ask us and then we'll, you're welcome to give them the, the link so they can listen to this and then have the link to fill out the form. So that's the next steps. So here are the points and I'm excited to show you this to you because honestly, you guys, it's pretty darn easy to win. It's, it's very easy to win. So remember, first and second place, everything's covered. Um, third place, you're paying 250 to come, plus your airfare. So you are getting an amazing vacation for a very, very good price, if not free. So we'll have one grad prize earner, five first places, and then unlimited second and third place. So here's how you win the points. You'll notice you need 200 for to a minimum of grand, uh, sorry, I can't talk, minimum of 200 points to win the grand prize. Um, this will be given to one person. 170 points, first place, 90 points for second place, and 45 points for third place. So here's how you get your points. Yes, Rich? Why did you want me to explain? So Richard's gonna explain the points now. So just one thing on, um, on how to win it is on first place, remember it's the top five people. Uh, well, you have the grand prize top one, and then the next top five get the first place with a minimum of 100. 170 points. Okay, there's one part of that. Okay. So I came, first off, I came up with these numbers, and so um, just be patient with us. If, if, if I don't think we'll have to adjust anything, but just be patient with us if, if we have to adjust anything. But I think it's, it's gonna be very easy to earn, and it's gonna be an awesome trip. So, um, And by adjust, if you get the minimum points, you will get the vacation. Yeah. Don't, don't worry, we're not gonna be like, oh, just kidding, you really need this. We have made it. If you earn these points, you can have what we're offering, absolutely. Yes. So, um, so if you get one enrollment with a hundred PV or more, you get five points. If you have an enrollment that's 200 PV or more, then you get 10 points for that. If you get someone on LRP, so this is if, if you have a new enrollment and then you get them on LRP the next month, then you get, and it has to be a hundred PV or higher, you get five points. If you have someone that um, wasn't on LRP for the last three months, They've, had, they've done zero LRP, and you get them back on LRP, you get five points as well, so reactivating someone. So and just to clarify, this has to be someone who has not, I don't want someone who has been doing five or 10 or 15 and all of a sudden does 100, has to be someone that has not done one at all, or has not done one in three months. And we only count people once, so, so if you have people under you that are, um, working for this incentive as well and then on your third level or under those people uh you reactivate someone the whole line does not get five points each it's whoever was working with that whoever person. works with them yeah. okay so uh and then if you rank advanced to executive you get five points and then if you uh, uh rank advanced to elite or higher you get 10 points as well okay so basically um he's gonna now show you the average like you what you need to be bringing in a month volume wise yeah. so if you so just how the points break out is if you want to win third place you have to on average either get uh, one 200 pv enrollment or more per month so for november december january february or two 100 pv orders per month or new enrollments per month or reactivate two people um or get two people on LRP that weren't, uh, that, you know, or new enrollments or weren't on LRP. So that should, you know, I would imagine that that's very that's doable, doable you guys. You, you need guys. two enrollments a month. If you get two enrollments a month. Of 100 PV or more. 100 PV or more. Or one enrollment of 200 PV. For four months in a row, you're gonna have your trip partially paid for. So yeah. totally, totally doable. So for second place, it's, it's double that. So you would need 
two to, and it's a little over this, so it doesn't quite work out exactly, but so it's a little over uh, 400 PV of new volume per month. So either two, 200 plus uh, enrollments or four, uh, either LRP activations or new enrollments. And just to clarify, you get 10 points for 200 PV. If you get like a home or a natural solutions, that's great, but that will only count for 10 points. Mm -hmm. So you, at least you want to make sure you're getting at least. And then for first place, it's 800 PV of new volume. So, and he's just giving you guys an average. You're not yes. just bringing in 800 PV new. He's just trying to break it down so you understand. You guys, if you can, between a new enrollment and getting people on LRP, if you can get in 200 a month, you're getting it partially paid for. If you can bring in 400 a month, you know, he's, he's just giving you some rough numbers. So don't think, oh, I brought in 400 PV, I, I get all the points. Yes. He's, just, he's just walking you through a scenario just to realize. You bring in 200 PV a month, you can go to Costa Rica for 250 bucks. Seriously, that's amazing. Yeah, so for first place, you'd have to bring in uh, four 200 PV plus enrollments or eight or a combination. Anyways, something around uh, where it would total about 800 PV in enrollments. So, um, and that's just average. So, and then for the grand prize, uh, you'd need to bring in about five 200 PV enrollments or more uh, to qualify for the grand prize. And again, we're doing one of those and it will be whoever has the most points. Yeah. So. Anyway, we're super excited about this. Super easy to win, super easy to win. I average about three enrollments a month just on my own. Like this month I had two home essentials kits and a lady who has returned her order and she's ordering something else. <laughs> so I, I, you know, I think I brought in almost 600 PV this, this month. Um, so questions, food allergies. I honestly, I don't even, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm not dealing with that. If you have a food allergy, um, you'll just need to plan on bringing your own food or contacting restaurants. And I don't mean to be a hard took us about it, but it gets really difficult to plan a retreat and try to figure out everyone's food allergies. So if you have a food allergy, make sure that you're bringing food that you can eat. Um, cause I'm not quite sure. Or they can contact, or they can contact the resort or I can give you the, some of the restaurants around there. Um, first, so first come first serve for the prizes, basically, no, it's not going to be the first person to get the points. It's going to be like, if, if I have I mean, anybody, could, like if you get, if you qualify for first prize, you automatically have, you automatically qualify for second place. So the difference between first and second place is you'll get some airfare money for first place, but not for second place. I will take my top five point earners. So it's not who gets there first and whoever has the most points, as long as you have a minimum of 170 points is what I believe it is. So the, the incentive is running from November 1st to March. So no, no, I'm lying to you. It's November 1st through February. Is it 28th or 29th this year? I don't know if it's leap year or not, but you've got four months. You have November, December, January, and February to get these points. So, and basically the way that we get it is let's say that you don't get any enrollments in January, but you get four in February. Like we want, we really want you to be able to come. We're, we're, we're trying to make this so that really, if you're willing to put some effort in that you can, you can come. So November till the end of February is, is when the contest runs and you will be filling out a form every month with your points from that month. And again, um, we will check, we'll verify, but like if you and your frontline builder are doing this together and like, let's say you get somebody on LRP, only one of you will be able to count that person. So I would recommend who being following enrollership. So who enrolled them or who works with their enroller. So some of my travel tips is get your passport right now. So, and I, and I put on here, you don't want to wait till your last minute to get the passport. Cause I remember Cheyenne was trying to come to Mexico with her baby. Cheyenne, do you want to tell us about that a little bit? <laughs> she might be muted. That might be Cheyenne saying, I can't talk. Okay, so basically Cheyenne needed to get a passport for her baby. So if you are coming with a baby, yes, you can bring a baby, that's fine. Um, that really won't be a problem because yeah, so you can, you're fine to come baby, fine to come with a baby, fine to come pregnant. It's perfect. I went pregnant to go streak the last time. Um, but you have to have a passport for your baby. And Cheyenne was trying to come to Mexico and there was some snafu with a birth certificate and the passports take a little bit of time to get processed. 
And she literally, I think that the FedEx delivered their passport like the last day possible for them to be able to go at like eight o'clock that night. Like they didn't know if they were going to be coming to Mexico because they didn't have the passport for the baby. So make sure you start getting your passport now. It's always good to have one. Um, I think it's around a hundred dollars to get a passport. Do you know, Rich? It's around a hundred bucks, but I would start working on it now for two reasons. First of all, you're going to have it in time. And second of all, it's really motivating to win the trip if you've already got your passport. Same thing with airfare. If you find a good deal on airfare right now, you are more than welcome to buy the airfare because remember, I'm not actually going to go in and buy your ticket for you. I'm just going to be giving you money towards your airfare. So if you find a good uh, um, fare for your airfare, go ahead and buy it right now because you're going to make sure you earn that trip if you've got a ticket. I can guarantee you that because you're going to die. If I've got my flight, I've got to make sure I win this trip. So airfare. Liberia can be a little bit expensive. Don't stress out. Um, we, I worked with Bree. If you guys live in Houston, you're going to get a cheap ticket. If you live in LA, if you can get to LAX, you're going to also get another inexpensive ticket. So um, she has really good ways of figuring out, like, for example, it was $1,000 to fly from Salt Lake to Liberia. And I was freaking out. I was like, people can't afford that. That is so expensive. But she figured out a way to get it to it's almost half that. So reach out to Bree. And she can show you her literal master ninja cheap flight finder tips because she's really good at it. So don't stress about the price one bit. Um, you can also get like sometimes if you sign up for a credit card and spend a certain amount, you'll get free flights. Um, so there's different, there's different ways to get around that. But um, definitely reach out to Brie because she can show you how to make it super cheap. Um, you can, and again, you can purchase your airfare now. I will probably purchase mine because guess what? I'm going to Costa Rica one way or another. I'm very excited about this. And I can't wait. So um, be on the lookout for good deals on airfare and get your passport now. And just put this on your vision board and make this happen. Just picture what it would be like to be there, what it would smell like, what it would sound like, what it would feel like, what going on those excursions would be like. It just makes it motivating. And if you're feeling overwhelmed by it, just do one step at a time. I was doing a, you know, I, I, I think I walked up or walked down 500 stairs. And I knew that I was going to be really sore two days later, which I was right. I was, <laughs> but walking back up those stairs is what was really hard. And it was a torrential downpour. It was super fun. Like really my, my motto is if you're going to go to a rainforest, it might as well rain where you're in the rainforest. And it did. We were in rainy, rainy season in, in October ends their rainy season. Um, but it was like, you could see the raindrops in the picture. That's how huge they were. It was so fun. Like if you go out in the rain and it's warm and it's just, it's fun, but I had to walk up 500 steps and it was easier for me just to look at where I was at the time and not look at the top because I got super overwhelmed. If I was like, oh my gosh, if I have to get to that top, that's going to be so hard because a lot of the steps weren't like they're were really steep. So just literally just looking at a few steps ahead of me and not thinking about getting to the top, but just getting a few steps ahead was, was really motivating. So I would do that as you're working towards this incentive is. Don't look and think, oh my gosh, I need to get 100 and whatever points to get first place. I want you thinking, you know what? I can do this. I'm going to focus on getting 10 points this month. Because if you average 10 points a month, you almost have third place, which is, which is incredible. So um, we will not be doing training when we are there. This is a fun trip. I don't want to do trainings. I want to, and, I, and I, of course we'll have the, you know, organic conversations where you're talking about the business are going to come up and that's great. That's some of my most fond memories on doTERRA trips is just, you know, randomly being with people and just exchanging ideas on how we're going our business, but it's not going to be a situation where we have set trainings. This is for fun. We will also have a beach day. I forgot to mention this where Javier will bring in some equipment. If you want to rent a paddleboard, want to rent jet skis, what, you know, he'll have those things there for you that you can rent. So we are literally including it all for you so that you can have just the great Costa Rican experience. We're not doing trainings. Um, and I will look to see what other questions there are. Who is so excited? Okay, so the exact date's April 30th to May 4th. And yes, there's a couple of really good, Hopper app is a great way to get deals on airplane tickets. Um, and then Brie also has good ideas because she figured out how to knock 400 bucks just like that off the Salt Lake flight. And then one thing that, um, the one disclaimer that you have to be patient with us is we have limited rooms and the, all the rooms are not the same. So depending on how many people win the trip, 
uh, the room situation might be a little bit different, but like what Jen said, nobody will have to share a bed unless it's, unless you want to share the bed with the person. Um, but a lot, there will be a lot of sharing rooms, but you all have your own. You're bed. only sharing one room. But, but that's just the main thing is, is just depending on how many people win the trip could, will change the bet, you know, the uh, room situation. So right. just be patient with us on. But they're all good rooms. They're, they're all, all great Yeah, rooms. it's all great rooms. They're all on the beach. So it's, it's great. amazing. All right. I'm so excited. So fill out that form saying that you want to participate. I will post the link on the group. If you want, if you're thinking, oh man, I really want to invite somebody on my team to do this. I think this will be motivating for them. Please reach out to either myself or if you're on Cheyenne's team, reach out to Cheyenne just to get that final stamp of approval. And yes, this is going to be, this is going to be so good. I literally cannot wait. I cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun. Costa Rica has, has my heart. I love Costa Rica. Any final words, Rich? No. Nope. All right. Start enrolling, but not until November 1st. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stop recording. If there's any final questions, you can, you can let me know.